After the advent of Vim series, I thought I'd do something a little bit different today. So we're going to talk about Tmax pop-ups. Sorry for my voice, I'm a little bit sick, but I wanted to get out a new video before the end of the year. So I hope it'll be not too bad to follow along here. First of all, special thanks to all my supporters through the various ways like YouTube channel memberships, GitHub sponsors and Kofi. Hi, my name is Marco. Let's get started. So first of all, let's just start up Tmux here. This is a fresh Tmux install in a, in a container here. There's no configuration or whatsoever. So we have this very nice looking uh, bar at the bottom here. And I'm just going to open up the readme MD file in this directory here, in this repository. That's basically just the, the script I, I wrote here just a few minutes ago. So what are Tmux pop-ups? Well, Tmux pop-ups are something different than Windows and Panes. Windows and Panes, you probably know. Like we have one pane here with, with the one window here that we can see. We could, of course, split that so that we could have two panes here. But let's just close this again. Pop-ups are something completely different. They just appear on top of your current window and pane layout here. And they are great for some temporary stuff. At least that's the way I use them most of the time. So how do we actually use them? So as I said, I don't have anything configured in Tmux here right now. To open up a pop-up, you can simply use the display pop-up command. Let's just drop out to back to the shell here for a while. So just background uh, NVIM here, just to show you how you can actually use this display pop-up command using Tmux display pop-up right from within your shell, if you are in a Tmux session, of course. If you do this, you get this pop-up popping up <laughs> on top of, of your other windows here and you can just do stuff in here. By default, it has like 50% size of your screen and it runs in the same directory and just opens the shell basically. So maybe you know that if you do a control D, you actually exit the shell. Let's just see what happens here if I press control D here. And you see the pop-up is still here. I, I can't actually type anything anymore, but the pop-up is still here. To actually get rid of the pop-up, just press control C here. But let's go back inside a uh, new room here. And we can, of course, also issue commands in Tmux command mode. By default, you get into Tmux command mode using your prefix key. So control B by default and the uh, colon. And you see the status bar on the bottom here just turned orange and you get the same indication as if you were in Vim and had the command mode here. And you can just type in Tmux commands here. So if I just type in display pop-up again, we will have the same effect as we had on the shell. Just we don't have to type Tmux in front of this here. See, we get the pop-up and still the same thing. Control D doesn't really quit this, but Control C gets rid of the pop-up here. There's also a little shortcut. You don't have to actually write a display pop-up all the time. You can use just pop-up. And this is basically the same command. It's just an alias for display pop-up. So let's get out of here again. And as I said before, if you just use pop-up by itself or display pop-up, it just starts up your shell. But you can also directly specify command here. So if I do a pop-up htop, it just opens with htop running in, in the pop-up already. And if I press Q here, still the same behavior, pop-up doesn't disappear. So let's do a control C. And I'm already off script, so maybe I just should read what I actually wrote to, to help me here. But anyway, let's just see what the capital E flag here does. So let's start up the command mode again, use the pop-up command and give it the capital E option here or flag. And now let's just start htop again directly here. Nothing visually changed here, but if I now press Q, which actually quits HTOP, you see the pop-up just disappears automatically. And that's all because of the capital E flag here. So if the actual command you run inside a pop-up exits, then the pop-up just closes itself if you use the capital E flag. Okay, let's see what else we've got here. Yeah, customizing size and position. So for that, let's just open up another uh, window here and let's just open up the man page of Tmux. And let's search for display pop-up. There you can see a bunch of options you can actually give to the display pop-up command. We already covered the capital E one here. Now let's just have a look at the X and Y options. So with the X and the Y options, you can give the position of the pop-up and it says it's the same meaning for them as in the display menu command. So let's just have a look at display menu. Whoops, what happened there? I don't know. Display menu here, uh, let's search backwards. It was above this actually. Here it says X and, uh, and Y give the position of the menu, both maybe a row or column number or one of the following special values. And we can have a look at the special values here. 
or you can use a format, but we won't go into this right now. Let's just try this out here. So let's just uh, do the X option. Let's do the bottom left of the pane here, right? So let's do the capital P here. And we also have to specify this for the uh, Y option, actually. Fair enough, it appeared to the bottom left here of the pane, just like the manual page said. So get out of the terminal here again or the pop-up. All right, so let's jump back to the display pop-up thing here. And let's see where the width and height options are actually set here. So I like to use them with the percentage actually. So let's just create another pop-up here, pop-up, and let's use 90% width here and uh, like a 90% height also for this pop-up. And you see this gets much bigger then. What else was there? So let's go back to the script here. You can also combine all of the options, of course. So you could combine width and height and width with some positioning on the screen. But let's get into some practical examples, actually. So for example, you could do something like a pop-up and use like lazy git. Just to have like sort of an overlay of your git stuff here. Of course, this is way too small here. So <laughs> let's just quit out of this again. Let's do it with very much larger size. Basically, let's just do 90% 90, 90 thingy here for lazy git. And we can see how this could be useful, right? We could just use this for actually using lazy git just on top of your windows here. Oh, and by the way, you can also use the mouse actually. So if you go to the corners here and click it, you can actually just move it around here. I think if you right click it, yeah, you can you can resize it. And yeah, it's a, it's a little bit finicky, but uh, it works actually. So maybe you want to see something that's below the actual pop-up here and you can just uh, resize and move it around here, which can be helpful. So you might see why this would be useful, but, oh, I didn't specify the E option here, the E flag, but anyway, uh, the other example I just had here was the, the pop-up and use basically like, like a scratch file or something like that. So like this, you could use your Vim here and have like a scratch file open just with a key bind actually. So that's why we come to the next section. You don't want to type this out, of course, all the time to get a pop-up. Let's just uh, quit this here and see how we can actually do key binds here. So I don't have any configuration file here, but you can, of course, put these commands here inside your configuration file, your tmoxconf. If you want to learn more about that, you can also have a look at uh, my older tmox video. But for now, we're just going to type this here in tmox command mode again. Let's say we want to have like the the pop-up for, for lazy git or something here. Like we can we can do this. Let's do the, 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 big, the big one again here, right? So that we can actually use this. Oh, I didn't tell you about that. You can also give your window a title. So my title, I will just say here and then run the command at the end here. And now nothing happens, of course, because we just bound a key. But if I now press a prefix G, you see this pop-up appeared. And we even have this title here. We just specified for the pop-up here. You could use that. I don't really use that, but that's a feature. Also, another feature I just thought about here was like, um, oh, also you can have a command history if you just use your arrows in, in Tmux command mode. You can have something like the capital B option, which disables the borders around the pop-up. I don't know how this works in conjunction with the title, actually. I haven't tried this, but let's see what happens. Let's just try it again. Prefix BG. Okay, we don't have a, a border and we also don't have a title anymore because it's just happened to be at the border, actually. Can we still resize this? I don't know or move it. I think without the border, we can't even do this. I don't use the disabling of the border and I also don't use the title, but I use keybinds and I have a bunch of them for different kinds of pop-ups. You can also use like a file browser if you use Yazi or something like that, a ranger, or maybe have your session switcher in a pop-up or something like that. I actually have this in my, in my main session. Setup. Yeah, and you can do all sorts of things. What I use it for also, I have like a scratch terminal, if you will. Let's, let's uh, just do like a big terminal here without a command, bind this to G again. And now let's use prefix G. And this way I have like a scratch terminal where I can do stuff. I use it just like the Quake style terminal. Some people use in iTerm or Ghosty probably for, for something like that. And of course, you can just leave this again. So you can do all sorts of stuff here. It's been a wild ride in the last month. 
there'll be much more content on this channel next year. So like and hype the video if you like what I do here. Subscribe to my channel. Also, you saw in the beginning, there are some options to support me, like using the membership options on YouTube or use Kofi or GitHub sponsors. If we don't see each other again before, happy new year. See you around and take care.